Hi, this is John Jaroskas, and I'm on the set of the QISP training program. And I wanted to take just a brief moment to talk to a couple people about this. So follow me over here. I have Laurel Wardrop right here, Laurel, and this is uh, Brian Courier. And uh, I wanted to steal a little bit of your time on the set. I know we're, we're in the middle of uh, filming and we're getting ready for the QIS training program. But I wanted our uh, readers of the Monthly Dirt to know a little bit more about the, what they can expect with the QIS program. Sure. So first off, what are we doing here on a video set? What, why, what, what's this all about? We're trying to make the training fun and interactive and give a little personality to the training. And so we're just here shooting videos that give good content to the QIS. Okay, so the training's gonna be online training. How does that work, Brian? Well, they're gonna experience their training online, so they're gonna have uh, several different options for them. Uh, videos, downloadable material, even uh, the industrial handbook portal that CASCA does will be available to them, and that will be their online training experience. Okay, and the reason why we wanted to do this online training is really to, I guess, help the, the person who's coming out to be able to do it at their own pace, at their convenience, we're going to use technology, hopefully, to make it a, a more meaningful experience. But yeah. uh, will there be actually some real live training with this? Yeah, they'll have to go after they do the online portion in the midterm. They're going to have to go actually in class and do a one day in, in class with the trainer record. And so they'll get a hands-on experience with them and their experience with the industrial permit. Okay, and you mentioned midterm. There's some exams associated well, yeah. with this. There are, in fact, there's two exams. Okay. So it's really to test your readiness to go and see your trainer of record, so we call that the midterm, and then after there's a more comprehensive final exam after you have your experience with your trainer of record. Okay, and the word on the streets is these exams aren't going to be easy. In fact, we're saying that this training is not for everybody. It's not Stormwater 101. Who should be thinking about coming to the training or taking becoming a quest? And maybe who should not be a quiz? Right. Well, just like every industrial facility doesn't need a QSP on site, um, this training is really for that um, specific person that's going to be fulfilling the role of the QSP. And those are special uh, roles defined, of course, in the permit. And so the way we set up this training to make it efficient for those uh, people is we actually don't cover. Um, things like BMP knowledge, we don't cover mm -hmm. hydrology, we, we, um, even the basics of the Clean Water Act. So those are kind of the prerequisite knowledge that we really uh, encourage folks to have before they dive into the training. And you mentioned prerequisites, Laurel. The construction job permit had some pretty, you know, significant prerequisites. This one, are there any real established prerequisites? Um, the way we've made the training work, it is the prerequisite. It's its own prerequisite. If you can pass those exams, that mm -hmm. means that you've had to understand all this knowledge in your working experience. So you setting your own bar of experience will help you pass. It okay, so it's going to be knowledge and experience that really oh, yeah. counts. Yep. Now, everybody's asking this question, when are they going to have access to the training? Well, our target launch date is May 1st, 2016. And then uh, as that will allow the student to begin their online training. And then as soon as they pass that midterm, they can start scheduling with their trainer of record. All right, well, there you go. You've heard it from the experts, Laura Wardrop with the State Water Resource Control Board and Brian Courier with the Office of Water Programs. And uh, this quiz train is coming up very soon. So uh, here from the set of the training program, this is John Traskis. We'll see you next time.